country we are currently experiencing, we have never witnessed. We have never witnessed this kind of insecurity. At the beginning of 2021, Karamoja registered increased in security, prompting Uganda People's Defense Forces and the Police and Theft Unit to launch a three-month operation dubbed Usalama Kawote. The operation comprised of voluntary and forceful disarmament techniques. Those who handed over guns without resistance were not charged and were given voluntary cards. State Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Agnes Nandutu, led to resettle ex-warriors. In Amnesty, bring the guns. We want to resettle you to live a better life other than staying in the bush. In August, LDU deserters of Kabong Battalion led to insecurity in the district amidst the Usalama Kowote operation. As the people of Kabong are feeling the impact of those guns, those guns is to us. Those are the guns that are now terrorizing our neighbors, the GA, the Turukana, and the same guns, it seems. Over the guns, the, 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 to the LDUs, let's return the guns. The joint security operations foiled the moves and peace was restored. We moved in, we moved it and launched a serious operation to make sure that we recover the guns that had been uh, taken by the local defense forces. As we talk now, Kabongo is peaceful, the LDUs, we are forced to bring back the weapons, and so far, out of 20 uh, SMGs, automatic, semi-automatic guns that were had uh, been taken away by LDUs, 17 of them was successfully recovered. It was later established that which doctors were spearheading the raids when the Deputy Chief of Defense Forces, General Elwelu, visited Karamoja to assess the security situation. Not, not the one which doctor we have in the village, my friend. He's the one who is driving these boys, mm. tearing children, I found it. Mm. They are tearing children halfway, checking the It's a group we must deal with. And I know to the leaders, you know them, let us have that, that, and that. Let's engage with this group. Let's have them. Let's bring them on board. Let them be part of our security architecture. President Museveni pledged to deploy more military troops and machinery to end the insecurity. Met His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda, who looked at our concept and had to give it some force enablers to make sure that we do the job as quickly as possible to make sure that we return the situation to normal. It was at this point that the third division commander, Brigadier General Joseph Palikudembe, announced the extension of Usalama Kowote for more three months. And we have extended Usalama Kowote for more three months by addressing the challenges that we faced in the first three months. The Joint Security Forces then impounded more trucks of animals from traders to end commercialized raids in the region. Traders were concerned that security operatives had not sensitized the Karamajongs. There are some traders who connive with these warriors and buy cows outside the market. Uh, thieves like these cattle wrestlers, they don't bring animals inside the market, but they are keeping them near there, such that they can be able to tell the trader who has come to buy. One hundred twenty eight guns, one hundred and seventy four rounds of ammunition, eight thousand eight hundred thirty four cows were recovered and returned to their rightful owners.
375 criminals were arrested and prosecuted in courts of law. They reduced, put down the cattle rustling in the sub-region. We have some small isolated cases which we are handling. The leading districts with high criminals were Kotido, Kabong, Moroto and Nabilatok.